Okay, we have a 30 series cab in here. Um, I'm not going to use the silicone sealant on the, the post covers. If you were, you'd just uh, put a bead here and a bead here. These two or three spots just, uh, you know, secure it a little bit more, but there is no reason to do that. Um, right now there's a camouflage kit in here for the quick fit post covers that are, are not sealed down, so I'm just going to show you how easy they are to pop off of there. There's one out. There's two out. We've got the windows off of this thing so you can see this one free out of there. So you, you can see they come out of there really quite easily, but you have, you have to bend them around because they are snapped around the post. There's a fourth one out of there. <clears throat> so now I'll go ahead and start putting in the ones I showed you earlier. I'll try to stand out of the way so you can sort of get a look at how we're doing this. Tucking it around the edge, pulling it around, and then you can hear that thing pop. When it pops, it's over there. Then we have this little tucking tool. If you need to tuck anywhere, this one actually is pretty good. Need just a little bit of a tuck right here. Bottom's good. Everything looks right there. Go back to the next one. That's post cover number one put in already. Oops, we got to put them in right side up. Sort of tuck them in, slide them up into position. Snap them around the post cover. There you go. Pops into position. You hear that thing snap? You know it's in there. Put that material in around the post there. Go on the bottom. That one's done. Okay, this one is the plastic one from uh, competitor B. We'll see what that thing looks like when we get it in here. Careful on this thing, I don't want to rip the upholstery. You sort of sharp corners on the plastic. Oops, oops. No. I guess it's, it's not too bad. Bad? Well, that's a little. Anyway, okay, this is our other quick fit post, the last one. I'll quickly go in there. Just sort of start them on the bottom and then slide them up into the headliner there and push them up. Get them into place. Set them in there. There's uh, pretty much nothing to it. Use a little tucking tool. Comes with your post kits to make sure that's all tucked in properly. From here, just fill just a teeny bit of material underneath here. Tuck that in next to the post. Looks pretty good. Can't complain about that. Okay, that's basically all there is. Oh, I got a little wrinkle right here. You take your tucking tool, work that material in, and boom. Going. So, okay, let's look and see what we have here. And this is competitor B's post cover. So you got a little bit of a rattle there. So you would want to silicone that thing, but it actually does fit pretty good. Whole location is not too bad. Post length. It's pretty good down here, you know. She's a little rattly, but if you silicone that thing, it probably wouldn't be too bad. But it, uh, in comparison to, to what we have, that's our quick fit post. And look at the top there, how the, 
seam fits nice, tucks up into the other one. Bottom fits in right around there. Look at the rear one over here again. The bottom fits nice and tight. Oh, but this, we're looking at it out sitting on a camouflage interior, so there's a little bit of a contrast, which actually is good because you can see, you know, how good it fits. There's no problems. Nice fit. It's just tucked up underneath there a little bit. Down on the bottom. Fits nice. Nice angle there. Front right post. Looks like it fits good around the bottom. Sort of leaning around. I don't know what kind of picture I'm getting here, but... Um, see what the top looks like. I think it fits good. No wrinkles. And that's all there is. I mean, you can put one of these post cover sets in this thing. This is uh, sort of what they look like. This is a camouflage set right here, but this is what you'd you'd get these four pieces. All plastic back. You can sort of see the plastic back in these a little better because of the contrast in the camo. But you can put all four of these in in less time than you can glue on a standard post cover. And they're wrinkle-free, repositionable, easy to take back out. Um, they just they fit good. You see a nice even edge here. You know, no exposed foam edges. No matter how close you look at that thing, you're not going to see an exposed foam edge on the part. So this one, well, yeah, this is a competitor's model, and it doesn't wrap around the back side of the post at all. It just sort of ends right at the the edge versus the one we put on. The edge is right here, and so we came all the way around the corner versus that. Which you know, I, you're just not gaining anything with this. It's the acoustic, and you go over here and tap on this. You know, look at what you. Have. I mean, it's just there's going to be no squeak and rattle on any of these posts. You know, they go in easy. This is just the way to go. I mean, it's, they look good. Decal, decal plate. The best post on the market by far. But uh, anyway, we also have them in camo, obviously. They're available here. You see that. We make camo lowers for these tractors if you're into the camo business. Also, uh, we got camouflage headliner set to match. This is really poor lighting in here, but this is... Just give you a quick overview. So, um, any questions, problems, or anything? Give us feedback. Uh, if you like us, if you don't like us, uh, what can we can do different to make our products better? We feel like we have the best products on the market currently, and we're going to continue to improve. Thanks for your time, and let us help you out if you need some cab parts.